You know what time it is. Welcome to Great Table Talk. Childhood friends coming together to make a difference in our everyday community. Enjoy this week's episode. We stick together through thick and thin. Welcome to Great Table Talk, everyone. It's your girl, Cash. And it's Ree. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey. So, it's been a long time. Mm, I said, let me, okay. You know? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. Yo, I just want to jump right on into it because I, I just, this has been bothering me for the last week or so, right? Uh-huh. Let's, let's talk about it. What's our hot topic today? Our hot topic is Aisha Curry. Um, she was criticized for making comments about wanting uh, "quote unquote" male attention on a recent episode of Red Table Talk. Oh, they have been. I'm, I'm so I'm so drove because there have been so many people mm-hmm. that had a lot of comments about this. Yes, I mean I'm a woman. I get it. I totally get it. And it seemed like every woman gets it. Mm-hmm. You know, I I, I I I haven't read all of the comments. But from the majority of the comments I read, mm-hmm. if the women get it. Um, my husband and I had a, a discussion about this because in the beginning, he took it in as, why are you wanting another man, quote mm-hmm. unquote. I said, I said, and see, and the first question I asked him, I said, did you see or listen to the entire interview? Bam. And, um, and he said, no. I said, well, <laughs> let, me, let me tell you what I gathered from mm-hmm. this. I said, there was never a point where she said she wanted another man. Mm -hmm. There was never a point where she said she was not satisfied with her husband. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The comments were that while her husband gets a lot of female attention, sometimes Uh it touches on her insecurity because, and and I'm paraphrasing here, because she does not see the same attention from men. Right. Okay. If I if I got that right. And, I think and, I, and, and his argument was she married, why she should be worried about another man mm-hmm. getting it, attention from and another it's, man. And it's so it, it, that is so like tunnel vision <laughs> almost. It's like you have to be able to listen to someone and understand where they're coming from. I mean, uh-huh. before you form an opinion, did you take into consideration that she has been with this man since what high school? Absolutely. You know, and this is this has become this is what her life, you know, has been with him. They grew up together. Mm-hmm. Um and she's and she is, you know, uh, successful in her own right. She is. Um, and she did, cla- she did clap back on a lot of, uh, a couple of people was like, won't you just stay in the kitchen? I read a couple of those tweets. Right. And her but, comment, you know, was like, which one? It, right. <laughs> it's so much, it's so much more than that, right? Because right. she, she's, that's part of her, her brand. So it's, I really just wish that before people make all these major comments, especially when they're attacking someone. Mm-hmm. You know, for one, don't attack people. Mm-hmm. Two, understand where someone is coming from. Mm-hmm. Try to understand their background. Try to gather information so that you can make an intelligent decision about what you think about it. It's okay for us to have opinions because right. everybody has one. Right. But don't just jump on the first little sound bite you hear <laughs> that's shared online and just feel like you understand exactly what happened. And you know, most of these guys have a short attention span as it mm-hmm. is. So, yeah, of course, so this is what you want to have. But it makes for good dialogue because as I said earlier, you know, my husband and I talked about this and once we, you know, both shared our opinions and then once he, you know, understood more about what the actual interview mm-hmm. was about, he was like, I get it. Good, good. Well, as you know, Gabriel Union, as well as Wendell Williams, mm-hmm. of course, as many other women, we mm-hmm. get it. I love what Gabriel Union was saying. It's like, this is a woman, she's honest, and she told her truth. Mm-hmm. No matter what your truth is, you can tell your truth and live your truth. Right. Now, I understand for most people, see, I can live my truth, but I don't have to expose my truth to everybody. Mm-hmm. But some people who are on certain platforms, mm-hmm. um, I, I think they feel a need to want to live their truth and right. tell their truth. And nothing's wrong with that because my village is very aware of my truth and mm-hmm. I can live my truth. Right. Um, but in the same token, to kind of switch gears a little bit, even with the Aisha Curry comments that mm-hmm. had big backlash and the guys were like, well, that's your husband. 
that's all the attention you need. As a woman myself, you, even as a man, you don't want no woman that no other man won't. I mean, <laughs> let's just be honest. <laughs> you don't want, let me, if we have to be honest with ourselves, mm-hmm. do you really want a woman that no other man wants? No. And I do like that, you know, there were some men that stepped in and stated that mm-hmm. you, just because you don't see the attention or know that it's, it's there, believe that it's there. Okay. It's just that, you know, a lot of men, you know, for one, see who you're with, you know, and it's like, well, why would I? Right. I don't even got a chance. You know, I, I don't have why? a chance. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, okay. We have Lenny in the house. Oh, what I call you? What I call you? Go with that. Okay. What's up, Lenny? What's up, Cash? What's up, Reed? Damn. Damn. So, okay. We're talking, uh huh. We're talking about the um, Aisha Curry comments. And I know it's been a heavy thing this week, but I was also giving a spin on Tony Gaskins, how he put the spin on the other woman. And he was basically saying, due to the Aisha Curry comments, he's been getting a lot of questions. And the mm-hmm. questions that he's been getting is, um, why is it that men respect Steph, but women mm-hmm. don't respect Aisha? Mm-hmm. And then he went on to say, you know, women are savage and women are temptress to married men. And he took, a, he took it a whole different direction. That is a different direction. Right, mm-hmm. right. So I was going to ask, what, 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 what do you all think about that? I kind of was offended when he said that women are temptress to married men. Yeah, the- you know, I mean, some women are. I mean, I've seen a few of them, but let's mm-hmm. be clear. That's not the majority no, of us. not at all. Um, although I understand where he was going with it. Mm-hmm. He, was, he took it in the direction like, okay, if a, wom- uh, a woman is tempting to a man and a man cheats, and he started to use the celebrities, he didn't say no names, but the descriptions that he used, like if a man cheats, he's kind of cheating for a benefit of mm-hmm. a status or for money, be it. He kind of threw shade at Steve Harvey. Like, Steve cheated on his mm-hmm. last wife with Marjorie, Marjorie to kind of have a, a bigger platform. Not that he didn't have the money. Mm-hmm. You know, so women would kind of get with a man because of his money. Wow. And, oh, oh, it's raining? Okay. Sorry, okay. Storm, man. <laughs> women would get with men because of their money, mm-hmm. but a man would get with a woman because of how it makes him look and the status that he would have. Yeah. So it would kind of elevate him in a way. Or men would get with a woman that would elevate him financially in a way. So he kind of took it in a different direction. Yeah. I mean, the whole situation with Aisha and, and that, that different spin that men respect Steph, but women don't respect Aisha, I just feel like it just speaks to the, the nature of we as women. Like, do we have respect for each other? Because if, and, I, and I, as you were saying it, I was processing it, and I didn't want to interrupt, but I almost feel like in all the comments that I've seen about what she said and how she felt that it almost seems like we don't ever have those same emotions like she articulated Mm -hmm. um and that the fact that she feels to validate her and I guess it goes back to that whole celebrity thing she's technically a celebrity Mm -hmm. so does that whole you know men do this because of why can't she do the same thing Mm -hmm. and if she if she can't then why Right. Mm-hmm. And I was uh, telling Re earlier mm-hmm. or, or saying to Re earlier that do men really want a woman that no other man wants? Like the reality of it, if we used to be honest with ourselves, mm-hmm. men are really, you know, up in arms about her comments. And women understand. Mm-hmm. Even, I mean, you bring your man somewhere, you want a woman to be like, well, girl, I appreciate how your man did this or you be like right. me too yeah he don't <laughs> right and I don't go too far but we, he don't <laughs> you get what I'm saying you don't really want nobody that no one else wants I, I mean I, I know I don't but not to but in saying that I'm not to say that I want people always throwing themselves at him mm-hmm. I'm right. not I mean the way my my emotions and the way by I'm set up that I just mm-hmm. I don't think I can even bother and you know I love me some Denzel <sighs> Y'all, y'all hate well, us. Well, no, I'm not, I'm not because, I, you know, I was in a relationship Here with Denzel. Denzel. You know, we broke well, up. Well, you <laughs> thought you <laughs> were in a relationship with Denzel, but I'm glad that you're happily married now. Thank and you. you left my Denzel Thank alone. Thank you. But, um. <laughs> Thank you. Pauletta told me to tell both of y'all. Okay. Okay. You, can't, um, you can't argue what's in my mind. <laughs> my <you> mind. <laughs> But uh, my, my, my biggest issue, we're going to title this podcast, like, what's really the problem? 
as men, the men who had the biggest comments and the biggest objections about her comments, are you a, a, a dog who have a woman that you've been dogging and you're afraid that she's going to get attention and probably going to leave you because of your dogness? I know I'm taking this in different, I'm giving different perspectives to this. But I know where you're coming from. Because it. you got some guys that's really speaking, oh, what, don't you worry about what no other man said, you just worry about me. Um, even Steph said, look, do your thing, I appreciate you, you know, mm-hmm. uh, live your truth. And do you have some men who really pressed about it? Mm-hmm. But maybe, are you insecure? Because somebody is sliding her DMs and she'll realize that there's something better than you? Or... Is it that you know that you've been dogging for so long that you're afraid of the idea of her getting attention from somebody else? And I just think that that's what a lot of men were gathering. They were they took from it that she was seeking another man. That's what I mm-hmm. kept mm-hmm. seeing in comments and hearing in comments. Right. But it, that's not what she said. Absolutely not. That's not Absolutely what she not. said. But it has opened a dialogue to kind of see certain people for who they are. Mm-hmm. And how they, and their real insecurities, because I've heard some guys talk. As a matter of fact, I had a conversation with a guy recently, and he was just saying that he has done some crazy things, mm-hmm. right? And he has caused his wife to look at him real crazy over the years. Uh-huh. And and it was a catchback situation that she kind of started doing the same thing that he mm-hmm. was doing, and he was like floored. He wanted to be Mr. Do Right. Like, mm-hmm. he said, after all the years of him kind of, like, lurking in her DMs and lurking to see who was hollering at her, she never paid any attention. But he was been doing this thing for years. This is how this got a true story. Mm-hmm. So when she did that, he's like, oh, man, let me tighten up. So, mm-hmm. and keep in mind, we weren't talking about Aisha Kerr. We were just talking about things in general, and he gave that. Mm-hmm. So some of these people who have the kind of hard-pressed feelings about the situation, mm-hmm. I kind of think, like, why? But she led by his example. I mean, she was right. trying to do what mm-hmm. she was supposed to do in her role as his female woman, wife, girlfriend, mm-hmm. whatever role she, she serves in his life. Mm-hmm. And she, I guess she may have felt disrespected. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, as we as women, we know mm-hmm. to get a man's attention. Mm-hmm. Right. We got to do something that's going to open their eyes and right. make them see mm-hmm. this is what you're doing to right. me. So once she did that, then he, I guess, started to internalize okay, I need to stop. I mean, because mm-hmm. this is what it feels like. This is what it looks like. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, we as women are under the impression men don't have feelings until they show them. Until, right. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. Right, right. But then that gets dangerous for us, too, because we can't play the, the same, same game, game as a man. Right, right. We, we can't. What we is can't it? Get labeled and... It's true. You know, it, true. I, the way our emotions are set up, mm-hmm. it, this is totally different. It, it is, mm-hmm. it is. It doesn't make what they do right. Right. And I'm not saying I agree with it at all. Mm. I'm just saying that we, as women, cannot... It can't be a tit-for-tat thing. I I, I totally agree, but this is from him telling his experience. Now, Mm -hmm. I don't know the intricacies of what actually happened, but I know the high level of what happened is when she did what she did, it got his attention. Mm -hmm. He'd been married to her and acting right, you know, (laughs) allegedly ever since. Wow. So, my thing is... And he said he, he, and he, his point of saying that is like most women gonna get the attention anyway. But we're not moved off of one thing he realized. He said he, we're not moved off of that attention. Mm-hmm. We kind of like check it, be like, mm, and move on. But men, they get that attention. They're like, oh, you know, oh, chest get all big. Uh-huh. And <laughs> I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. You know, I'm feeling, 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 hey. feeling myself. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Aisha's initial comment, like when she, when I heard it, I was like, ooh, mm-hmm. and I had to play it back again. I was like, okay, so does this mean that Steph isn't meeting her needs at home? Mm-hmm. Um, I know she's on, was this child number three, mm-hmm. possibly? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know, in her mind, and, I, and he's working, you know, hard, you know, doing his thing. But in the same, in that same realm, you have to give her the attention that she needs as well. Because mm-hmm. if she's saying that she wishes that a man would cat call her, mm-hmm. okay, can, is he not doing that in, in the house for you? I mean, right. I know you just had a baby. I you're think that was, again, it, it, they, your, right. Your right. parents. I don't, yeah. You need that could, validation from outside of your house. And I don't really he think. could very well be doing that. I think what she, where she's coming from is that. You know, because I'm sure she's showing her husband attention, but then there are all these other women that are mm. coming on to him. Mm. So, but she's not getting that from men. So it's kind of like, you know, am I just desirable to this man right. only? Right. Like, what's like, what's wrong with me? How does the you know world view me? Because mm-hmm. a lot of times we 
and it's unfortunate that that weighs so heavily on us sometimes of what do people think mm-hmm. of me right and I think that's where that's the space she's in I'm not mm-hmm. I mean I'm not none of us are in their household to know right. exactly what's going right. on but and I don't really think I'm nothing really major nothing that was in well, oh no no that, like, think, you know. yeah totally and I wouldn't even think that nothing really major was going on I think right. in that conversation uh, you know I probably wouldn't have had that conversation on, on you and know, this is what I hate know, about sometimes when things get shared. Mm-hmm. Again, I go back to what I stated earlier. It's just this sound bite, one little part mm-hmm. of an entire interview. And we don't know what was said before, right. what was said after, because all right. we see, all that's been shared is this one, right. one little moment. Right, right. Yeah. Well, this we could probably talk about this for a long time, but we could just want <laughs> cut this one short. But I just want to know, guys. What's really the problem? <laughs> Why did you really have a problem with the comments? <laughs> this is the messy me. Hashtag, what's really the problem? <laughs> you know, sound off. Let us know what your thoughts are. Um, send yes. us an, an email and mm-hmm. a DM. Let us know what's right. going on. That's we right. might have you on the podcast. Sure will. And this has been Great Cake Table Talk. Oh, this has been Great Table Talk. <laughs> this well, before we, before <laughs> we sign off, we need to... Um, we kind of introduced Lenny, but not really. Oh, how dare! So we need oh, yeah. to at least we know let her Lenny. tell us what we have. Thank you for the opportunity. You know, <laughs> you know, I watch let, it infrequently. Yeah, and let, I, us, you know, let us know what's going at the, on with, at, the, at the table sometimes. That's right. I don't know how to talk. Yes, Ooh, let, let us know what's going on. Let's <laughs> <English teacher. laughs> Right, let us know what's going on. Um, author, educator, hmm. wife, mom. What, 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 what we got going on? What do you have going on? I'm at the woman. It's all in me. <laughs> um, it just, just what you guys said. Teaching, um, being a student, being a teacher, being a mom, being a wife, you know, being a Christian. Not in that order per se. Um, but yeah, that's that's just it. The kids keep me busy. In case you all don't know, we've been knowing Lenny since. I don't know when we haven't known Lenny. <laughs> I know. I- I don't. I don't. Yeah, it's been, you know, it's, I don't it's know. It's literally been <laughs> It's really hard for them right now to call me Lenny. They want to say me nee and Nisha. <laughs> but I, I don't want to say that was a past life, but that's an alter, that's an alter ego. That's still me. I'm Nisha. I'm me. Nee, I'm Lenisha. I'm Lenny. I'm Kawani. Whatever you want to call me. Yeah, I put it out there. I did. I put it out there. Um, but, you know, we, we grow. We evolve. I'm just Absolutely. glad to, to be a part of 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 the circle Mm -hmm. word up (laughs) this has been great table talk it's your girl cash it's re and of course we have lenny and we out bye bye